back to another R tutorial. We're going to look at naming rows and columns and matrices in this video, as the title suggests. First off, we're going to look at when uh, what happens to the names when we use the R bind and C bind uh, functions introduced in the last video. So we're going to define a matrix called names, and it's going to be for the the data we're going to collect is of three people and. Uh, obviously just made up data but just to make the point we're going to use a character vector so we are going to use uh, David John and Steve and what's the point in these brackets well they're not brackets uh, quotation marks that lets no R know that these are not uh, numbers they're not they're not values okay there and it treats them different they're like character strings so it just will print out exactly what's written within the quotation marks as a word it was not going to try perform uh, calculations on it okay so that's names and then we are going to name a vector weight and this time we do want numerical values um, so we're going to say David weighs 80, John weighs 75, and Steve weighs 98. Okay. Now we want heights. Can't spell. Uh, and for height. From here we're just defining vectors, we haven't gone into the matrices yet. Uh, we'll look at it like centimeters, so David's 170, we'll say John's 173, and Steve is 188. Okay, and finally, age we'll have David being 39. John is 54 and Steve is 49. Okay. Now we're going to define the matrix uh, measurements and we're going to define this as C bind and then all the vectors we've just defined so names weight height and age let's check what measurements looks like as you can see right and this was the point I was trying to get across we get the matrix as we expect as we saw um, how C bind works in the last video but I just wanted to point out that C bind names the columns after the vectors all right that you use that you've bonded together so it use it takes the name of this vector that we've called names and it actually displays that okay which is good which is helpful but now we want to name these rows okay and we use an operation called row names row names and this is a function we want to apply on measurements Okay, which is our matrix. We want to change the row names of that matrix. So, of course, we're going to apply row names to that function. And, and what we assign to row names of measurements is what will be displayed as the row name. So we have to make a vector and use characters. We're going to call uh, Dave, patient one, Steve, patient two. Oh, sorry, and John patient two and Steve will be patient three. Right, and if I haven't messed that up, then I should do what I want to do. Yeah. So now instead of having row one, two, and three, we have patient one, patient two, patient three. Now finally, we're just going to look at how we could change the names of the columns manually if we wanted to. I'm quite happy with our current column names, but just to demonstrate um, the point, 
we're going to name our column something different and it doesn't really matter we're just going to go for uh, people um, maybe you can like kilograms uh, centimeters and a years all right so these names if anything are a little bit weird like kilograms of what uh, centimeters of what you but you know whatever it's just you um maybe our ideal names would be weight uh, uh, comma kilograms you know but whatever the, we're just showing how to use these operations um right so i think everything's okay there nope i see i see what it wants me to do i missed a mark there and what have i done here Oh, okay. It's still the same mistake. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to do this all again. It's a bit of a pain with this, you know. You make it a typo, and you have to rename all your columns. But we we'll use this opportunity to name our columns sensibly. Provided we don't make uh, any typos again, and uh, I wouldn't put that past me, so we'll see how this goes. Yep, I've just done it. All right, you got to remember your um, your quotation marks, and then age. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, obviously it's in years, but. Right, that should be fine. There we go, and now it's changed our column names, you see. So, hopefully, now you know how to use row names and uh, row names and col names, which was the point of this video. <laughs> um, and also, you've seen what R bind and I could show you Columbine, but I won't in this video. It does exactly the same thing. Uh, no, we use uh, Columbine. If we use R bind with vectors, then they, the names of the vectors will be displayed down here. So hopefully this has answered your question. You know how to name rows and columns in, in a matrix. If you do have any questions about R, please let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one.